So MAGA has been really leaning into the whole vaccine grift, and it is a grift because now we see that uh, they are trying to get money out of people. To introduce us to what's going on, let's have a look at uh, a little someone called Trey Crowder, a.k.a. Liberal Redneck. Well, in case you missed it, the internet has given conspiracy theorists another nugget of idiocy to gnaw on, and they're loving it. Here's the deal. You may recall a few weeks ago, the Buffalo Bills' DeMar Hamlin collapsed on the field from cardiac arrest. Well, these people say that, in fact, DeMar perished that night and has since been replaced by the NFL with a body double slash clone who refuses to show its face in public and insists on making Masonic hand gestures. Well, I, I, I gotta say, I do love when the when the conspiracy wing of MAGA pops up and um, you get that extra layer where they, they full on say, no, 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 somebody you're going to see a lot of in the near future is actually dead. <laughs> that's, that's the best. Uh, didn't they do that with Joe Biden? I know they, they said Joe Biden wasn't the president and then also blame Joe Biden for decisions the president makes, but... Uh, it's it is especially fun. It's got that mwah, just that extra spice on it when they say a live person is dead and is making Masonic hand gestures. That's simple enough. I, I feel silly now. Here I was over here assuming that he was bundled up like that either because Buffalo is the devil's snow globe or he was experiencing lingering effects from his ordeal. But turns out what happened was he died and then the NFL called up that Jurassic Park scientist and was like, can you do safeties? Hey, don't forget <laughs> to teach our new clone how to do all the secret Illuminati hand signals in public. Because as we all know, conspiracies ain't no fun without any breadcrumbs. That's what they <laughs> say happened. Now, if you're the type of person whose brain works, you may think to yourself, but why? And they say it's because DeMar Great died question. that night as a result of complications from receiving the, you guessed it, COVID vaccine. There it is. Makes sense now, right? Yeah, because it's... Okay, so I've always wondered, like, if you genuinely are trying to convince a crowd of people uh, of a conspiracy, why wouldn't you go with the easier explanation? Like, like the easier to uh, maintain explanation. Like, why wouldn't you just say, if, if you were under the belief the guy died, why wouldn't you say, he died of something else? Excuse me. Like I mean, it, the, you're 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 straw man in this. When you when you're imagining a conspiracy, you're dreaming one up. Why, like, in your head, these villains? If Demar Hamilton had died, wouldn't they just say he died of something else, and that would be the conspiracy? I mean, I think it's because the people who are doing this are not obviously following logic. They, they take, in fact, a set of facts that go with reality and have to do fan fiction about it. So they're constrained by that. They can't just have smart villains in their conspiracies. They have to have, uh, so they have, to have something that bends around so that like a, a normal incident with a football player getting injured, having a serious heart condition, slowly recovering, yada, yada has to be in their cartoon world. I get it. It's just, if you're reading the conspiracy theory, I'm surprised nobody has that, uh, that train of logic crop up. At least I never see it in the comments in these wackadoo uh, forums. We all know, move aside, QAnon. Anti-vax is the current Beyonce of the basement brigade. <laughs> They're all over it, trying to convince the rest of the world that millions of Americans are falling over dead from the jab. Yeah. Is QAnon not anti-vax? I just assumed, you know, any wacky thing, I just assumed Q was on board with. Mm. I always wonder how they think the millions of us who received the shots and are totally fine are going to react to those statements. Like, do they think we're going to read their ramblings and think to ourselves, oh, damn, maybe the government did try to use that needle to explode my heart. Thank <laughs> you, Joe Biden Antichrist 69, for opening my eyes to this. <laughs> 
It's ridiculous, but these conspiracy theories are out of control, man, you know, and, and I blame the internet for it because that, that whole thing's always been kind of a part of human nature. You know, even hundreds of years ago, if you got enough slack-jawed peasants together in a pub and one of them brings up the unmarried lady down the street who likes to dance, before you know it, things are getting pretty burn the witchy around there, oh, right? No. But today, those people are no longer confined to the village inn. They all congregate together in the world's largest digital pub, and they're on there every day priming each other's dumb pumps and ruining comment sections around the globe, right? And I think I know what's going on there. I think that even our nation's worst and dimmest still want to feel as though they know things, right? Partially, I think that is it. And I realize he's doing a bit. You got to you gotta uh, not necessarily split hairs. I do want to say it is also very much cosplay. Like, this is extremely... If you ever hang out with cosplayers, of which I deeply enjoy doing by the way um in fact let me let me let me use a, a more specific term larpers you ever hang out with larpers i usually don't have the energy to like maintain a story over yada 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 but i've gone to larping events just cuz they're fun and uh th it's this it's exactly this except they know it's pretend which makes all the difference so, like, yeah, there's a storyline they're all following, and they're all sort of building towards it. They're all making uh, their little contribution. And, uh, yeah, the only difference is they don't do this and then talk about real stuff for a second, you know? Uh, they do this and keep on LARPing about the purity of the white race or whatever nonsense. And when you spend all of your life not knowing much in the way of things, allowing the internet to convince you that instead you are one of a select few clear-headed free thinkers who are awake in a world filled with guild. placated, gently dozing sheep people has a certain appeal to it, right? And it's bad news for those of us who still care about things like reality, objectivity, and stuff that does happen, because it feels yeah. like the internet lights a new torch and adds it to that peasant mob every day. But all I know for us to do is stick together, call them on their bullshit, and cling to the truth as though our lives depend on it, because honestly, it just might. A hundred percent truth. Trey Crowder absolutely nailed it. It's correct. It's uh, that's two for two on the channel. So, what can we do about it? I would recommend if you have somebody who is MAGA in your community, and this is funny but it's not a joke genuinely they are looking for a hobby that's it they they like that feeling of of being in control but what they have demonstrated beyond everything else is that they are uh they are bored so introduce them to something like larping introduce them to uh, MMO RPGs. That's a healthier outlet for these feelings. That's a that's a healthy healthier way to play pretend. Essentially, the the folks that tease video games but put on uh, hunting camo and pretend it's military camo and then run around in their backyard with an actual gun shooting at targets. That crowd needs a healthier outlet. And I'm just saying, keep your eyes peeled for him. Buy him that mystery box game. You know, where you, where you, where you get mailed a mystery and you, you sit around with the family and try to solve it. Do that for them. Because the vast majority of MAGA conspiracy nuts, I promise you, are just looking for something to do and they are just angry uh, because culturally they are... A hot potato. Nobody wants. Nobody wants them, with good reason. They're awful. But this is this is a. They're. It's an entire voting block full of that guys. But you know what? A, a healthy gaming community can help that guy become just a regular player. 